Hi, my name is Patrick Huffer. I'm one of the medical providers at Clinic Tepeyac, and I wanted to take this opportunity to share some insights from working in primary care at Tepeyac uh, over the past few months uh, during the coronavirus pandemic. Obviously, it's been a time of incredible social, financial, and societal change, and healthcare has not been exempt from that. I think a few months ago, nobody would have predicted uh, that primary care clinics and even specialty clinics would be doing uh, much of their work from home. Uh, and yet here we are, that, that's essentially the norm today. I'm speaking to you from the basement playroom, uh, trying to do some of my work with kids underfoot and schools closed and spouses working from home. Um, and so, yeah, we at Tepeyac have certainly not been exempt from that at all. Um, despite all of these changes, uh, I have been really impressed and, and grateful to Tepeyac for the flexibility and the creativity that they've shown in adapting to the situations. Uh, early on, especially, it seemed like every day there was a new set of guidelines to follow, a new set of um, criteria or fears or, or, or responses that we needed to draft. And Tepeyac was able to roll with those so quickly. Uh, we were able to get our, our telehealth platform up and running uh, in a matter of weeks, um, whereas I think pre-coronavirus changes of that magnitude would have taken months uh, at, the, at the least. It's been very essential that we continue to provide our medical services, both in person and virtually, um, because during a pandemic, even as coronavirus goes on, all the rest of the medical issues that patients have don't go away. People still have diabetes that can get out of control. People have hypertension. People get pregnant and have babies. And we need to continue to take care of them and do so safely. Uh, at the beginning of this process, we had a lot of fears about, do we have adequate personal protective equipment? Um, and certainly, along with every other health uh, provider in practically the country, uh, we were strapped for a little bit. We were reusing paper masks. Um, but fortunately, through an inflow of donations and um, acquisitions that our clinic has been able to make, fortunately, we're doing a lot better now. Um, and we all feel comfortable and able to take care of patients safely. Now, it can be really, I'd say, angst-providing, uh, angst-provoking for, uh, for patients or even for, for staff members to see doctors uh, dressed in full PPE treating patients in a primary care setting. Uh, Tepeyac is not alone in that we have a tent set up in the back, uh, which helps us safely screen and treat patients with suspected or, or confirmed coronavirus uh, in order to keep others safe. And during that time period, I think it's all the more critical that we, uh, that we continue to emphasize that we are a safe space for all of our patients. Um, Tepeyac takes care of some of Denver's uh, most vulnerable populations, uh, and as such, they are more prone to disruption from coronavirus. The financial uh, implications of lost income, lost jobs, affect our patients disproportionately. And additionally, they are some of them are not eligible for some of the federal or state stimulus money uh, or resources that are meant to help people through these situations. Additionally, um, you know, with these kind of changes, there can be an increase in racism uh, or xenophobia or other negative, um, negative behaviors that our patients uh, disproportionately experience. And to that end, Tepeyac continues to strive to be a safe place um, where people feel welcomed, respected, and are treated um, with, with decency. Uh, and humanity. Almost every day that we come to work at Tepeyac, we are inspired more by our patients than anything else. Uh, I frequently end my visits by reminding people to wash their hands and social distance and take care of themselves. Um, and almost every time the patients come back and say, yes, and you too, doctor. Uh, and all of our staff here at clinic at Tepeyac, we want you to stay healthy. That's what our patients tell us. Um, and it's, it's a sense of gratitude that I leave uh, coming home from work every day, um, that our patients really care about us and that we are doing work that affects their lives and their health in such a positive way. 
Um, so yeah, those are some of my, my thoughts on what's been going on in our work at Tepeyac. We continue to strive to provide compassionate, uh, culturally competent care. And your support is, is very appreciated and very essential in continuing to provide these services. Um, I wish you all the best and take care.